everybody knows that you played with Peyton both here and in Indianapolis. You're good buddies with him. You both live in town. Um, how would you assess Peyton right now, physically and mentally? He, he, he looks as good as I've seen him in a long time, physically. You know, you can tell he's been putting a lot of work in since, you know, uh, I know he took a week or two off after the season. He's been training, uh, but he looks great. I think he's going to have a great year. You know, he's going to go back to the Peyton that, you know, we saw in 2012 uh, when a lot of people were doubting him. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting to see the, the Peyton of 2012-13. Uh, and to bring it full circle, is, we, is he a first-round pick in fantasy football? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Are you kidding me? Huh? You can't yeah. pass on Peyton Manning. Uh, David Cutcliffe, who was his coach in, in college and is the Duke coach, and he goes over there and hangs out with him, said the same thing you yeah. did. And I just was on a Honolulu station, and despite the NBA Finals going on, the first question is, uh, at 39, can Peyton still do it? And my, my response, and I'd like your, your – your, obviously – your much closer situation, and you're one of the primary reasons he came to Denver to begin with. But I, I, I said he. I think he's in a better position because John Elway, at the end of his career, didn't have to rely so much on his his own ability to win the games. That Peyton is going to get more help from his running game. He's going to get more help from the defense, and in this system and you played in and against teams that have zone blocking. Uh, how much is that going to help Peyton Manning? And is it fair to compare what John Elway was in at the end of his career? Uh, I, I think you can compare it, you know, because I think they're both in the same type of situation. You know, and I think Coach Kubiak, you see what he did last year in Baltimore, I think he's just a great offensive coach. And I think that running game, that running style is going to really help Peyton. And I think it's kind of – Re-energized him. You know, anytime you got to learn a new offense and learn how, you know, and, and a guy like him wants to know every little detail and how they want to do things and why they want to do things. I think that's great for him, and I think it's a great challenge. I think that's the way he's approached it, and um, so I think uh, the offense is going to be is going to be a great fit, and I think Coach Kubiak's going to be a great fit for him. Bo, um, are there positions left? At the Fantasy Sports Combine. Yeah, we are. We're still rapidly selling tickets. Uh, we we have uh, room left. We're July 17th and 18th, so we're still about five weeks out. I did just want to touch on one thing that you brought up, which is, I believe this city owes this gentleman next to me the key to this city because I don't <laughs> think it's been articulated the degree to which Peyton Manning rescued Denver from a very dark stretch. And the primary reason, you said one of the reasons, I got to tell you, this guy's very, uh, he's very low key about it, but this well, city owes a debt of gratitude to Brandon <laughs> Stokely and the job he played in getting well, but one of the greatest sure. quarterbacks ever. Well, when I say uh, one of the primary reasons, I, w I would think Cherry Creek, uh, Cherry Peels Country Club <laughs> yeah. kind of figured into it because once he went away, went, oh yeah, this is a place. Because you, you played there with him, I'm sure. Yeah. And he loves playing over there. He loves playing at Castle Pines. Yeah. I think he had, his, had a hole in one at Castle Pines. If he I did, remember correctly. a couple years ago. So yeah, I, yeah I, I know that, uh, yeah, he was. If he, I, I I have known Peyton since he was a kid, covered his father. I think what you did was present to him a situation that would have been comfortable for a transition for him and his family, that he saw that Denver was a lot like Indianapolis. Right. Uh, is that a fair assessment? I think so. You know, I just try to you know, do my best selling job, but at the end of the day, you know, it, it was his decision. I think he put a lot of thought into it, and I know he's, he's thrilled with his decision. I know he loves it here. He, he, he loves the Bronco organization, and he loves living in Denver. What are you doing with yourself? Me? Um, I know you're involved. You know, obviously. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the mover and the shaker behind everything with, with Bo. Uh, no, full full time I, uh, fantasy you know, football player. I, I do a lot so. around the house. My wife, you know, she, she runs me ragged. Um, but my, my kids, I, I spend a lot of time with them. And baseball right now is full go. And just enjoying a, a little time off and enjoying life. Yeah. Uh, because John Madden once told me that uh, when he decided to retire, he said, I want to spend more time with my family. And he said, I found out that's overrated. <laughs> he said, they didn't want to spend time with me. And I'm sure it's that right. One more my time. My family loves me. <laughs> One more time. It's fantasysportscombine.com. It's at the Win in Las Vegas, July 17th to the 19th. 
fantasysportscombine.com. Brandon will be there, Mike Shanahan, Mike Ditka, uh, a, a bunch of former players. Kyle Orton will be there. Um, it's, it should be a lot of fun. I'll be and, there and, with and 